the most under-discussed topic in first-year calculus is probably differentials. In this video, we'll look at the differentials of the composite of functions. We'll show that the differential of the composite of functions is the composite of differentials. We'll then illustrate how this fact is useful for differentiation and integration. The definition of differentials is on the screen. In the definition, we treat the differential dy as a function of two variables, x and dx. So dy is the dependent variable, and the x and the dx are independent variables. This means that each pair of values of x and dx determines a unique value of dy. Assuming the function is differentiable, to find the differential of the function, all we need is to differentiate the function and uh, multiply the derivative by dx. Note that for every value of x, the differential defines a linear function of dx. The example on the screen is designed to illustrate the definition. For question A, to find the dy, all we need is to, to differentiate the function, then multiply the derivative by dx. You see, the differential dy is a function of two variables, x and dx. For question B, we are going to find the linear function defined by x value of 100. We plug 100 into the right hand side of the differential. This is a linear function of dx. For question C, we will find the value of the differential when x value is 100 and the dx value is 0 0.1. We plug x value of 100 and the dx value of 0 0.1 into the right hand side of the differential. This is the particular value of the differential determined by x value of 100 and the dx value of 0 0.1. We are now ready to talk about the composition of differentials. Suppose you have two differentiable functions, y is a function of x and x is a function of t. Then the differential of y with respect to x is the derivative of the function f times dx. Now, x is a function of t. If we treat dx as the differential of g of t and write everything in terms of t, this is the composite of two differentials. x equals g of t and dx is the derivative of g of t times dt. Using the chain rule, it equals the differential of the composite of two functions. Therefore, the differential of the composite of functions is the composite of differentials. According to the argument, we can also see the differential of y with respect to x is equal to the differential of y with respect to t. So we see the form of the differential is the same, no matter the differential is taken with respect to x or the differential is taken with respect to t. The two questions on the screen are designed to illustrate the differentials are useful for differentiation. Question 1. Choose u so that the given function is the composite of two functions, so that y as a function of u is simple to differentiate, and u as a function of x is also simple to differentiate. We then calculate the differential of y with respect to u and the differential of u with respect to x. Now we can write dy as a function of x times dx. This is the composite of two differentials. Since the composite of differentials is the differential of the composite, 
the function before dx must be the derivative of the given function. Question 2. Choose u so that the given function is the composite of two functions so that y as a function of u is simple to differentiate and uh, u as a function of x is also simple to differentiate. We then calculate the differential of y with respect to u and uh, the differential of u with respect to x. Now we can write dy as a function of x times dx. This is the composite of two differentials. Since the composite of differentials is the differential of the composite, the function before dx must be the derivative of the given function. We now look at how differentials are useful for integrals. The fundamental theorem of calculus, or FTC, can be restated in terms of differentials as shown. The proof is evident from the original FTC and the definition of differentials. From this statement, we can see the integral and the differentials are inverse operations of each other. Taking the differential of the integral of a differential use the differential. On the other hand, roughly speaking, taking the integral of the differential of a function use the function. The questions on the screen are designed for the case that the integral can be converted to the form of the integral of the differential of a function so that we can use the observation we just made to evaluate the integral. In some cases, we'll achieve it in multiple steps. The first step is to write it as a function of u multiplied by the differential of u, where u is a function of x. We'll then repeat this until the desired form is obtained. In this process, we essentially convert the composite of the differentials of functions to the differential of the composite of functions. In question 1, the integral can be converted to the form of the integral of the differential of sine of x. Now we can use the observation we just made to get the answer. In question 2, 1 over x times dx can be written as the differential of natural log of x. We then substitute u for natural log of x and then write u cubed times du as 1 quarter times the differential of u to the power 4. We can now write everything in terms of x and use the observation we just made to get the answer. In question 3, dx can be written as one half of the differential of 2x plus 1. We then substitute u for 2x plus 1 and write u to the power of 100 times du as 1 over 101 times the differential of 
U to the power of 1 on 1. Now we can write everything in terms of x and use the observation we just made to get the answer. 